Welcome to Shoulun TV, I'm Thomas. Just before the end of the millennium, one movie came along, defined a whole generation, bringing together all the advances in technology and science, bringing together influences like anime, graphic novels, kung fu, gun fu, postmodernism, religion, myth, minimalistic music, cyberpunk, cybergoth, all in one package, in one movie that shook up audiences all across the world. Its name was The Matrix. But before it came together on the big screen, they were all just separate elements just bubbling away in the minds of the creators. Let's go back in time. First thing. Never before had there been a live action adaptation of an anime. Never before have somebody looked at an anime and said, I want to do this for real. Until the Wachowskis looked at one of the enemies and said, we want to do this for real. And the first one is Ghost in the Shell. Cyborg police officer and her partner try to hunt down the puppet master who's hacking into the computer system and killing people. And another one is Megazone 23. It's set in post-apocalyptic Tokyo. Everything is happening in the simulated reality. People don't know it. And of course, which can't be missed on any lineup, is Akira. It's iconic, it's cult. Psychic power, this huge surreal thing and everything going on. Check this one out. Others to check out. Battle Angel Alita, Serial Experiment Lion, Bubblegum Crisis, Blame, X and Army Charge 3. Before The Matrix, there were rarely movies that took on Hong Kong action movies. You see it now, these days, in every movie. Slow motion, two-handed gunfighting, flying around, sunglasses, trench coat, highly stylized. A Better Tomorrow from John Woo starring Cho Yun Fat is the best example. Very dramatic but simple plot, ex-gangster, brother who's a police officer, they come all together in a big showdown. Also the killer, assassin who tries to redeem himself with one last hit. In addition, you might want to check out City on Fire by Ringo Lam, Hardboiled, more violence but also same action. And the biggest trademark of Hong Kong, Fantastic movies, fantastic choreography, action, even if it's with wires, and one of them is Once Upon a Time in China, Iron Monkey, and Drunken Master with Jackie Chan, a bit more humorous, fantastic choreography. The look of The Matrix was quite unique, and it drew from a subculture, and the subculture is cyberpunk. What is cyberpunk? Cyber, technology, virtual reality, punk, underground, dark side, hacking, all coming together. Cyberpunk writers tend to go hard-boiled detective stories, film noir, everything is connected with machines. On the forefront of cyberpunk writing is William Gibson. If you like The Matrix, you want to check out Neuromancer. It's a computer hacker meeting ex-colonel from the Green Berets. The ultimate hacking, espionage, counter-espionage and everything you want from a story. Philip K. Dick, the man that actually influenced William Gibson again. He wrote stories for Blade Runner, Minority Report, Total Recall. Great book by Philip K. Dick, you be. If the book's too long for you, check out his short story, Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? This is the short story Blade Runner was based on. The main foundations of our society, religion and myth. These are the most powerful stories proven through time and Matrix as well. It covers Messianism, Buddhism, Sikhism, Nihilism, Gnosticism, Existentialism, all the isms, myth, Greek, ancient legends, Morpheus, the god of dreams, the oracle, and the obvious part, the names, Neo, the one, Trinity, Nebuchadnezzar, um, rebirth, die to rise again, all these themes, religion covered, myth covered, Legends covered. The ultimate question, what is reality? What is real? What is perception? Jean Baudrillard, you have Plato, you have Descartes. The same question, you have it already movies like the Truman Show, existence. 
13th floor and it's the essence of Plato's allegory of the cave. There is the reality, there's the light which we can see because we stand in our own way and we only look at the shadow. A more modern twist is simulacra and simulation saying in a media saturated environment it is almost impossible for us to distinguish between reality and imagination of reality. This very book you can also see in the matrix which Neo is using to put in the disc. You would think that would be enough to put all these influences, all these things into one movie and make it work. They put on top an amazing groundbreaking soundtrack by Don Davis, influenced by atonal minimalistic music. The Matrix soundtrack uses so-called tone clusters. These are keys lying really close to each other and previously people would have said they clashed. And here's some stuff you might want to check out. Harmony Lehre, Philip Glass, for more atonal direction, Schoenberg. So all these elements were buzzing and bubbling around in the minds of the Wachowskis before they even put a pen on paper to write down the matrix. It's your chance now, hopefully with this all laid out, that you can emerge into their world and try to get into it, find out more, get your own inspiration, whatever. I hope it helps you and keeps you occupied for a while. This was The Matrix. Come on!